I'm Judy Shaw for What's the Fund. Joining me today is Andrew Parker, Managing Director of Horizon Kinetics, along with James DeVolis. He is Portfolio Manager at Horizon Kinetics. Gentlemen, thanks for joining me. Great to have you on. Thank you. Great. Now, quick note to our viewers, this interview is for informational purposes only. The NYSE doesn't recommend any investments or investment strategies. Andy, let's start with you. What's the fund that we're talking about today? This is the Horizon Kinetics Inflation Beneficiaries Fund, and the ticker symbol is INFL. Great. Okay, so tell me about this fund and tell me about the strategy. So the fund is singularly focused on inflation. And, you know, the old Chinese saying, may you live in interesting times. Uh, we certainly do. In the last few months, we've seen a historic increase in money supply, uh, not just in the United States, but globally. And this is largely due to uh, the stimulus around this coronavirus. And uh, we think that this is very likely to lead to inflation. And as you know, inflation generally uh, causes broad price increases in the economy. Um, it largely leads to higher interest rates. Uh, higher interest rates can negatively impact fixed income portfolios, as well as high multiple stocks, which is a big deal in this, in this marketplace. Um, so we think this is an important time to hedge against inflation. Uh, one interesting feature of most inflation hedging products now is that they tend to own TIPS, uh, Treasury Inflation Protected Securities. And TIPS now generally have a negative return. Most of the yields are negative one to one and a half percent. And so effectively, if you own TIPS, you need inflation to really jump to earn any return. Um, and if we don't see inflation, in the unlikely case that we don't, um, that part of your portfolio is going to languish at pretty close to a 0% return. Our strategy is to own equities, and we think these are companies that will be successful in a non-inflationary environment as well as an inflationary environment that will just enhance their profits. And so with that, I'm going to turn it over to my colleague, James DeVolos, who can talk a little bit more about the strategy. Thanks, Andy. So the focus of the fund is going to be on, we, when looking at inflation, most historical approaches have looked at hedging inflation, which as Andy mentioned, has a negative carrying cost. But we've created a portfolio that we believe can be owned over a full business cycle where these businesses can thrive under the status quo, but the returns are enhanced markedly under higher inflation scenarios. And the way that we're able to accomplish this is we focus on asset light businesses that have exposure to various inflation vectors. And what this permits is these businesses to sustain during the downturn, but thrive during the uptown, upturn and ultimately compound over a full business cycle. So again, this is truly an all weather inflation strategy where you might be concerned about inflation or you might not be concerned about it but it's an all weather full cycle product that can really be a, a permanent por portion of your portfolio. So to break down the portfolio, there's three distinct baskets, direct beneficiaries of inflation, indirect beneficiaries of inflation, and then an opportunistic bucket. The direct beneficiaries have a direct, albeit asset light, and asset light basically means low capital intensity and minimal or no balance sheet risk but yet still have direct exposure to inflationary vectors such as energy, metals, precious metals, agriculture, food, land, and then even an asset light way to play real estate or global listed infrastructure. The indirect beneficiaries are equally interesting where they have an asset light, highly scalable business, but still have exposure to these vectors, whether it be through data, or research, or a financial engine, or brokerage, or various other high margin, highly scalable businesses that would benefit. The final bucket, the opportunistic bucket, are truly unique idiosyncratic markets where the inflation scenario could be highly skewed in the event that inflation hits, the, outs, the upside could be truly enormous and we wanna have some exposure to these types of inflationary vectors. Okay, wonderful. Now tell me, where can we learn more about this fund? So two places. The first is our website, which is horizonkineticsetf.com, and then on our Twitter site, at Horizon Kinetics. Okay, Andy, James, it's been great to have you on What's the Fund? Thanks for joining me. Thank you very much for having us.